Hey, you can't tell where Slim Cool about to go. Yeah, I cannot tell where the fuck you been. Yeah, girl, it's been a while since you called. Seen you moving downtown. Hello, boys, girls, whatever y'all are. I love y'all. Had six right there, four more. About to have 10 mangoes. Let's get it. I'd turn this whole field into a graveyard of mangoes if they gave me enough mangoes. What's up, y'all? It's for about a six foot five. Today is March 3rd, 3 3. Um, look at how gorgeous these are, man. Gorgeous mangoes. Gorgeous. Organic. You see that nine? Don't play with me. I only do organic. And if I don't do organic, it's because it tastes so amazing that it doesn't need to be organic, honestly. Man, today's vlog, I just wanted to turn it on. You know, I just wanted to turn this uh, device on, this camera. And just talk to y'all, man. So my boss... I'm the manager of the produce department, but my store manager, who is my boss, comes out to me today. It's been crazy at our store, right? I work at a natural grocery store, an organic grocery store and stuff like that. My whole produce department is organic. There's not one thing that can come in. If one thing comes in on a truckload that is inorganic, we have to send the whole truckload back. So that's what kind of spot I work in. It's pretty bougie. But my boss has been getting more and more stressed. First of all, let me tell you, my boss is on a keto diet. And I rarely ever like see my boss. But now when I do see her, and stuff, it's like she's so decarbed. She doesn't have any carbohydrates in her. So whenever I see her, she's just like, <sighs> like she's a fucking zombie. And she's always snapping at her employees. We had four employees quit within the past month because of her. And the only reason I'm still in this bitch is because, not my boss, but the job, <laughs> is because, uh, A, I gotta pay rent, and B, I get fruit like this for pretty much free, because we get a dollar on this uh, card to use for every hour we work, so at the end of a pay period, you have 80 bucks that you can use in the store, it's free. So, this is literally why I'm still here, number one. And I got to pay rent. But it's crazy, man, because, like, today she came up to me, didn't even say what's up or anything. It was just like, did you get this done? Did you get that done? Did you get blah, blah, blah done? And in my head, I'm like, you bitch, you know? Like, you are a bitch. You are a C-U-N-T, straight up. You know what I'm saying? You don't even say what's up to your employee. It's, your, it's their job, you know? Okay, but let me get to the real point, because it's like, a lot of people just take that shit, man. A lot of people are doormats, dog. A lot of people be like, oh, yep, 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 I did that. Yep, I, oh, I'm scared. I'm, and they, like, get in the frail position. And it's like, fuck that shit. I did that shit for, like, a week. And then I realized that she was just on this keto diet. And just she's just emotionally unstable. And her husband's cheating on her. So it's like, yeah, no fucking No wonder. Because you're on a keto diet and you're you have no stability in your life but so after about a week of like figuring her out i was just like okay i know i've ran into people like you before um so i don't take shit no more i look her dead in the eye and i give her a straight answer but i'm like yo like i stand my ground you know what i'm saying i'm not like oh yeah i did i'm just like yeah i did this that's literally my tone toward her now so it's like don't be a doormat dog you know what i'm saying even if it's there's a fine line between like being a bitch and standing your ground and like not like crossing that line of like talking back to someone but like making eye contact and being like yeah i am standing my ground and you're not saying it but it's like they know it, it's all within the eyes you gotta fucking you have to make eye contact with people period so just don't be a doormat you know you can still keep your job and like maintain your integrity uh, but a lot of people don't a lot of people just give their boss like that power over them and that's so pussy it's like don't be doing that and if you do stand your ground and your boss is like oh like and they like lash back out at you you don't want to be at that job 
straight up. I don't even want to be here. And like my boss knows when I make that eye contact that I mean business and she ain't walking over me for shit. So if you're being a doormat, stop. being straight up look at america dude we, we live in such a pathetic place people are like don't, don't, don't talk bad about america like america's way better than other spots in the world bullshit <laughs> these motherfuckers are living for the dumbest shit and if, if this is my opinion if you don't like it get off my channel but it's like dog y'all have it so twisted you got people living on a keto diet that is how twisted America is. You got people denying themselves of needed carbohydrates, fruit. This bitch won't eat fruit because she can't have carbohydrates. She's trying to lose weight on a keto diet. Yeah, you're gonna lose weight. Guess what? You're gonna gain it back in one month because the carb crave is gonna hit so hard and you're just not gonna be able to say no because your body's gonna be like, yeah, we need that motherfucker. This place is crazy, dog. And I'm closer and closer to paying my student debt off. And when I pay it off, I am out. And I am going to a place where these grow year-round. And I'm sitting my ass under a mango tree. The first thing I do when I get there, I'm going to sit my ass under a mango tree and stuff myself until I can't breathe with these things. And then I'm going to manifest my life. You know what I'm saying, man? 26 some people are like 40 years old and like it's you know it's quote unquote too late for them to like to go back but then they realize it when they're 40 like i realized it a year ago like what this life is and like how you only have one and how you can't be a doormat no more and how you gotta live the life you want so if y'all don't realize it by now you need to wake up quit being a doormat and do what you want to do fuck your family views fuck your mom view fuck your dad's views like they're they're gonna love you no matter what straight up but they are going to be pissed once you start to do what you want to do because it ain't uh you know what i'm saying society says no to it and they're like oh i'm embarrassed now that that's my kid <laughs> how fucked up is that and they probably try to keto diet once or twice you know what i'm saying man Bro, why do you talk black? Why do you blah, 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 blah? Shut the fuck up. I make music. I've been a rapper for a while. This is how I talked before I rapped. I'm sick of people asking me that. Like, why do you act like you're black? Do you have any idea how fucking ignorant that is? <laughs> why do I act like I'm black? So every person who's black acts like me? Do you have any idea how stupid you sound when you say that? No, you don't have any idea because you said it. This is how I talk. <laughs> so yeah, it's Fruit by the 645. I love y'all and I hate y'all. It's a balance. I'm going to eat the rest of these. And I'm going to keep those there because all they're going to do is just biodegrade. Someone's going to walk like, oh my God, that fool's littering. Yeah? Shut your mouth. <laughs> You're littered. Y'all are littering with your bodies just being here and not knowing what your purpose is in life. Yeah, I'm strong. I feel strongly towards it. It's fruit by the six foot five. Let's get it. It's March 3rd, 2020. You in the future. Stop. Stop thinking there's going to be a future with all these like cool da 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 da. It's like you're in it. Wake up. Let's go. Shout out Kane, I mean over Kane. You know it's like I have nothing. It's that something. Yeah, my back and help pass. Get the pack of bunny. The predicate shit at police don't kick.